Welcome to chapter two of my Enneagram series. In today's video, we will be talking about the Enneagram 8. I will start with a brief overview from chapter one and then talk about eights in relationships, eights at their best, what people like about being Enneagram eights, their superpowers, and what's great about eights. If you have not listened to chapter one about the Enneagram type eight yet, you can find it here. Enneagram eight, chapter one review. The childhood message is, it's not okay to be vulnerable or to trust anyone. Their divine attribute is strength. Their core desire is to be in control. Their signature sin is lust. Their core fear is being taken advantage of. Their heart longs to hear, you will not be betrayed. Their healthy self-image is honest and tenacious. When eights are thriving, they are compassionate and understanding. Eights are strong and powerful when fulfilling their purpose. Priorities for eights. Keeping order and control. Maintaining their autonomy. Avoiding vulnerability. And protecting themselves as well as their loved ones. How to get along with eights. Tell them the truth and don't sugarcoat things. Give them bullet points. Get behind them when they take action. Don't undermine their authority. Don't be afraid to have hard conversations with them. Stand up for yourself and me. Be confident, strong, and direct. Don't gossip about them or betray their trust. Be vulnerable and share your feelings. See and acknowledge my tender and vulnerable side. Give me space to be alone. Acknowledge the contributions that they make, but don't flatter them. They often speak in an assertive way. Don't automatically assume it's a personal attack. When they scream, curse, and stomp around, try to remember that's just the way they are. Eights in relationships. Their relationship goal is they want to be appreciated and respected. What eights look for in a relationship? Strength, respect, loyalty, dependability, sexual compatibility, structure, and autonomy. In secure relationships, healthy to average eights travel toward the average to unhealthy side of twos. They share their true thoughts and feelings with those closest to them. They seek reassurance that they are needed by those they love. They desire to hear words of appreciation. They show their more vulnerable side. They express their longing to feel loved and cared for. Eights at their best in a relationship are loyal, caring, positive, playful, truthful, straightforward, committed, generous, and supportive. Eights at their worst in a relationship are demanding, arrogant, combative, possessive, uncompromising, and quick to find fault. In general, eights at their best are generous, merciful, compassionate, protective, courageous, humble, gentle, positively influential, and emotionally connected. Superpowers of AIDS. They are big picture thinkers. They are confident in their ability to tackle tough situations. They can maintain control over all situations. They are willing to take bold action, and they are willing to have hard conversations. What's great about AIDS? They are fiercely independent, they are courageous, inspiring, and honest. They support and empower people they care about. They are challenging and competitive, and they are willing to take risks. What people like about being type eights. They are self-reliant and independent. They are courageous. They uphold just causes. They are able to take charge and meet challenges head on. They are honest, courageous, and straightforward. They enjoy life to its fullest, and they protect, support, and empower those closest to them. Please leave your comments below about your experience of being a type 8 or being in a relationship with a type 8. Let's start an open dialogue so that we can learn from each other. 
Please click subscribe and share my video with anyone that you feel might benefit from it. Thank you so much for watching.